Yo, what's good everybody? It's boy Eddie here and welcome back to the experience. And before we even begin, make sure that y'all smash that like button. And if y'all see anything that y'all like throughout the video, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And y'all already know the vibe, so let's just get right into it, right? So this shoe right here is really special to me because it reminds me of a model of an Air Max 95 that I had back in eighth grade, I think. It was like a metallic silver with a light blue and also a dark blue, it kind of like changed colors on like the, the trims and stuff. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So what we got right here is the Nike Air Max 95 LeBron Lakers. And before we even get into the box right here, I'm just gonna show y'all like the whole packaging and stuff. So it's basically an Air Max 95 box with some LeBron packaging. Like as you can see, we have the Goat James symbol right there. And then we have the Air Max right there, but in the purple and gold, as well as with some black and white hits. And now let's just get into the, oh, wait, the shoe's not done yet. We actually have some special tissue paper right here. It's giving me like Mamba scale vibes, but it's kind of LeBron themed. So I don't really know what they were trying to do here. Maybe it's a LeBron shoe, but there's a Kobe tribute into it too. Because if you see like, it's literally like Mamba scales. Anyways, once we open this right here, we get the star of the show. But the thing is, since they're alternate shoes, I'm gonna have to show you guys both pairs. So let's go with this side. And then we got this. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Personally, for me, I think I'm gonna go with the purple side more. The yellow obviously is brighter and it kind of pops more, but I kind of like the purple because it's classy. You get that little sense of royalty in it and all that, but they're still both really great shoes. And together you get that whole combo, that whole package right there. So very beautiful shoe. So let's just get into the details of the shoe right here, man. So basically the point of the shoe right here was to tribute LeBron James and his accolade so far. Obviously his career is not done yet. You know, he's been, hurt with the Lakers and stuff as of recently, but I don't think he's going down, man. He's going James just like Shannon Sharp says, so I'm not even gonna trip about it with the injuries and stuff. AD, you need to get better, and Braun, you need to get better, and we'll have a chance at a championship. But other than that, let's get into the details of the shoe. So like I said before, it is really an inspiration or catered to LeBron's accomplishments, which I'll get into. So on this right side of the shoe, we have different hits of purple on the stripes right here. Then we have a yellow Nike check right there. Also, when we go into the back of the heel tab, we have that classic Air Max 95 logo right here with the 3M hits right here. And we also have some purple Nike branding right there. Same thing applies to the medial side of the foot right here. As you guys can see, we have the different colored stripes of purple. And next, when we go into the mud guard, we have a darker purple right here. And once we go into the tongue, as you guys can see here, it's a mesh material, but we also have black 3M laces as well as yellow eyelets. And if you guys go deeper into the detail right there, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that, we have a number two right there with a 3M strip on the tongue. Also on the top of the tongue here, we have the LeBron James logo or the GOAT James logo. So you guys can see we have that kind of LJ right there. And actually what's interesting about the shoe is that it's alternate on both shoes. So the tongue right here is actually gonna look different on the other shoe, which I'll show in a second. But for the most important part of the shoe or the concept of the shoe itself, when we go into the bottom right here, we have the number two, but then we also have a list of LeBron James accolades. So on this shoe, we have a two times gold medal, rookie of the year, scoring title, six time all defense, first in playoff points and third in all time points. And then when we go onto this shoe, we'll start from the bottom to top. We have four times NBA championship, four times finals MVP, 16 times all-star, 13 times first team, four times MVP, and three times all-star MVP. So as you guys can see, this guy has a list that's just going on and on and his career is not even done yet. So that's why people call him Goat James. And you know, as of right now, he's definitely one of my favorite players in the NBA. But you know, Michael Jordan still got that crown. You know what I'm saying? And then also another detail on this shoe was the three. So when you put them together, you have 23. 
Now going on to the upper of the shoe right here, we have this kind of bright yellow with alternate color palettes throughout the stripes. And the same thing goes on the medial side as you guys can see right here. And then when we go into the mud guard, we have a kind of darker yellow on the toe box. It's like a new book-ish material. Then when we go to the heel, we have the alternate color of the heel. So it's mainly purple and then we have the yellow Nike branding. Then when we go into the tongue now, as we said before, it's an alternate shoe. So we have a black mesh tongue right here. And as you guys can see right there, we have a 3M hit right here. And then if you look even closer, we have the number three. So when you put the shoes together, you get the 23 right there. Also on the top of the tongue tag, as I said before, it's an alternate color. So you guys see it's more purple on this side in comparison to the yellow on this side right there. And then of course we have the purple eyelets to make it alternative, of course. And then we have the black midsole. And if you guys look closely, you can actually see that the air bubbles on this shoe is purple. And then when you compare it to the purple shoe, the air bubbles is actually yellow. So that's just another detail that I almost missed right there. And also the only thing I have a gripe with with this shoe is that it has a kind of um, icy sole. So the problem with that is like a black icy, so I don't know how that's gonna come out. So I'm not sure if it's gonna get yellow. That's, I really hope that it doesn't because I'm definitely gonna wear these a lot in the summer, fall, spring. This, to me, this is an all year round shoe. So it's definitely something I'm really gonna be rocking a lot, guys. So other than that, y'all, that's gonna conclude the review of the shoe and stay tuned for this awful look, all right? All right, child, so that's gonna conclude the review as well as the on for look. And other than that, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Be sure to smash that like button. And if you've seen anything that you like throughout the video, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.